My name is Dr. Stanley Zaslow. I am professor and chairman of the Department of Urology at West Virginia University. I am finally in my M3 year. Any advice for step two CK? So CK is the clinical knowledge exam, and the answer is yes. If you didn't do well on step one, this is the time to show just how strong your knowledge base is. This is the chance to make that step one score that wasn't your best less meaningful to a program director. So yes, it's something to study hard for, but this is a very predictable exam. Clinical knowledge is very predictable because every question is case-based. So there'll be a clinical scenario describing a patient and the questions are gonna be straightforward and you can predict very much what they're gonna be. What is the most likely diagnosis? What is the next step in the evaluation of this patient? What is the most appropriate treatment for this patient? What is the best explanation for this patient's symptoms? So really, it's the who, what, where, when, and why for each clinical condition. So if you focus on your study for step two, it should focus on each clinical condition that's common, that's testable. And certainly you know that because it's in the review books, it's in our review manuals for, for the step two course, very easy to identify. And look at each condition, say rheumatoid arthritis, okay, from internal medicine, from rheumatology. How do you make the diagnosis? What are the findings on exam that you would expect to find in this patient? How do you diagnose the patient? Do you need imaging or is this based solely on physical exam? What is the most appropriate treatment for this patient? Okay, and maybe even take it a step further. What would the next treatment be if they were not successfully responding to your initial treatment? If you do that for each clinical condition, you will do extremely well on the step two clinical knowledge exam.